Hey everyone, I'll be 45. I think I'm just going to share a little bit of my man den. It's a room where I shoot my YouTube videos, where I have my CB radios, computer. It's just, it's my room. Uh, I try and keep my wife out of it as much as possible. It don't always work. Most of you guys probably know how that goes. But, uh, anyhow, we'll just start off over here on the radio side. I have a Cobra 142 GTL base station radio. Uh, I don't know, these radios, they stopped making these probably back in, I don't know, I'm not even going to say, I'm not sure. They definitely don't make them anymore. I'm pretty sure it was late 70s, early 80s. It might have been late 80s, I'm not sure. I just do know they don't make them anymore. This is an AM FM, I'm sorry, an AM with sideband. Uh, we do have a little DX or skip rolling in. Uh, what that is, for y'all that don't know, is whenever the conditions get right, um, your radio signal will go up in the ionosphere and start skipping along. And it'll come down somewhere. Um, I've been here in California in here pretty good today. I'm in southeast Wyoming. So, uh, you know, you can actually get on a CB radio and, and you know, talk virtually all over the world. Uh, the furthest that I have talked, and it's been some years ago, was uh, to Australia. Talked out to Australia to a guy that goes by Walkie Talkie. But uh, the propagation, or the DX, the skip, all the same thing really hasn't been uh, going for the last three four years it runs in 11 year cycles and uh, it's just kind of starting to come back into it but anyhow that's that got a little uh, this right here is a Turner super sidekick desktop microphone I don't make them anymore either got a power supply 52 amp for powering radios or amplifiers or whatever. Um, I have some mobile radios hung up here. Have a unit in Grant. Right there. A unit in PC78 Elite. An RCI. 2950DX and a Cobra 29 LTD that's the Dale Earnhardt edition I just kind of have those hung up kind of give you a broader shot computer uh, this right here is a um, can't think A rotor rotor control um, I have three antennas at the house uh, I can get to two of them from down here and I get to one of them from upstairs but this right here is for controlling a beam antenna a beam antenna is an antenna you use to point in the direction you want to talk uh, they're a very directional antenna they give you a side and back rejection uh, if you're wanting to talk out to California and you have DX coming in from let's say Arkansas or you know off your backside you can help tune them out reject them with a beam a beam antenna generally has got a higher DB which is a multiplication of your power coming out of your radio they just they really help you know a beam antenna if you like to do the DX thing um, is definitely a definitely a plus that's just uh, nothing special SWR power meter for the radios. I have antenna switches here. I have all this set up. On this here, if I have this flipped to the right, like it is now, that is transmitting or receiving out of my ground plane antenna. It's an omnidirectional antenna. Um, I can flip it just like that. Now I'm over on my beam. So now my beam is aimed 
you know, kind of to the southwest. So it's down around Southern California, Northern Arizona. That's kind of where it's pointing. Now, just because you're on a beam, that does not mean that you will not hear anybody that you're not pointing in that direction. I mean, people with, with you know, good stations can still get into your beam. But a beam does just, just help. I have another switch back here, and this is the one I use. I can switch to four different radios without having to unhook, you know, unplug, reconnect. I can just flip this, whoops, flip this right here, select which radio I want to go on, and then I can just choose what radio I want to talk on. Kind of convenient. Really nice. We'll just come around here. I like hats. Always wear a hat. Coming around, coming around. That's a uh, like a wind son of a gun. We have a post out on the back deck. You can put that on, and those wheels, those these things here, spin in the wind. Pretty cool. It's getting pretty weather worn. I don't know how many more years we're going to get out of it. Uh, reloading manuals. And come around here. This is the table that I do my YouTube videos on. Clean my handguns. So on and so forth. Um, nothing special for my lighting. I have a track light set up with three spotlights in it to shine down to, you know, hopefully give good light whenever I do do a video. There's a stinking timer that I always forget to turn on. And I do mean always. Come around, that's just a bookcase full of a whole bunch of stuff. Got that hanging up. That's just a little bag that my Glock range bag came in. My wife got me that for Christmas. My wife's Christmas for me was real easy this year. Um, I had the Glock store catalog. I went through that catalog and circled stuff I wanted, and all she had to do was go through and buy the stuff I circled. She did real good. She did real good. I have some maps up here. Map of the United States. World map. You know, if I'm ever talking on the radios, and I hear somebody from wherever, and I'm not sure where it's at, I can, I didn't have so much crap in front of it. Here's some microphones, some static D104, desktop lollipops. I have four of those sitting around. Solder and iron, general stuff. Posted scale. Posted scales, those things are handy. You know, I picked that thing up off eBay for like 28 bucks. If I have something I want to mail out, need to mail out, want to just find out how much postage it needs, I have a scale. If I want to weigh anything, you know, handguns, whatever. Got a scale to do it. I don't know. Well, that's about it. I, uh, finally was able to get a an upload uh, for the software that came with this video camera for uploading to YouTube it had a glitch in it and they finally had an update or I finally just found the update so uh, that seems to be working good so it does upload a lot faster than going through YouTube's uploader so I'm real happy about that so this video is kind of a you know, let's see if it works and see how long it takes to upload almost a 10 minute video. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope I didn't bore you too bad. Um, I'm going to get out of here. And everybody have a good day. Thanks for watching. And thanks for the subscribers. I definitely appreciate you. See ya.